does ethanol make your tank rusty? So today's question, can you run E85 in a steel fuel tank and will it rust? And the answer is mine didn't. So about six months ago, I built the GT and we ran E85 in the fuel tank. It's been sitting in the workshop now for over three months with the same tank of fuel. We pulled the sender unit out and this is what we found. Um, come around that other side and flip the seat forward. Just pull the little handle there. We'll flip the center up. Peter, the standard, so the fuel top comes out. The standard one, that's a breather. It usually has another one that's a bit bigger for the fuel line, and then it has another one about the same size, which is the return line. I wanted to run bigger ones for this car, so I drilled them out and then got those mad fittings put in there. Can you hold the silver plug, the gray one? Yep. So what we'll do is we'll get a shifter and undo these, undo those Allen keys, and see if we've got a rust bucket inside my tank. <laughs> Tank. Yeah, I had to redesign the hanger and everything that was in the tank to try and fit these bigger lines in here. Ethanol also eats rubber. So I've made a rubber strip under here. I reckon the inside of that will be all swollen. Yeah. But I've saved the template so we can just make another one if we have to. Well, first of all, the fuel hanger's steel and there's no rust on it. Oh, it's great. Wow, that is surprising. This is bare steel and there's not a single smidge of rust on it. This is, And this actual tank of ethanol here has been sitting in this tank for at least three months. The car's just been started and driven in outside, that's all. Wow. Here we go, inside the tank. Does ethanol make your tank rusty? Oh my god. Come around the other side, Peter. On the outside of it, that looks great. That is unbelievable. Well, there you go, myth busted. You can leave ethanol in a steel tank and there's no problems. And this car's just being sitting here. My little rubber o-ring that I had to make under there is still intact. It's probably a good thing we pulled this out because I didn't realise that was going to be split like that. And that's meant to be submersible fuel hose. Alright, so after running E85 on my tank, I didn't get any rust. However, the E85 fuel did eat my rubber fuel line, so I need to do something about that. Um, I know everyone's results are going to vary. Um, different countries, different states, different temperatures. Darwin is a very hot and humid area. We get a lot of rain. It's a lot different to the southern states that have nice, cool and dry weather. 